So I, I really believe we're entering a golden age of learning. We're seeing so many great new tools, technologies, content thinking to allow us to build amazing learning experiences as an industry. At the same time though, we also recognize that skill sets need to evolve to really make use of this new thinking and technology. We, we've identified six new emerging roles which we'd like to share and for you guys to get a glimpse of. The role of the performance consultant is very much about understanding the business and rather than being reactive to the business when it comes from a learning perspective, it's actually proactively going out to the business and saying, we understand your strategy because we understand the business world in which we're working. Number two, they really need to understand the performance data which is actually coming out of your organisation. So the business intelligence data, what data do you actually hold? What can show us where there may be gaps in performance and how we can actually qualify when we close those gaps off? And thirdly, they'll understand learning and learning technologies. And they'll be able to look at the plethora of different things that you have out there and be able to use that canvas on which to actually create new learning experiences. Now we know that from, from Fuse and data and speaking with customers, that when you have a strong community engagement manager, you see better statistics, you see better engagement, people learning more. You need to make sure that there's um, enough conversations around that community and that the content is amazing content. The second thing is to make sure there's a, um, a drumbeat, that there's a consistent drumbeat of content, of comms, of buzz, of, you know, something that is always going on with the community. But we need someone to orchestra the whole thing. Um, and that's usually the community engagement manager. The best community engagement manager should always be part of the business as well. L&D team should definitely support that role um, and make sure someone is giving that best practice and skills and nurturing. So the way I like to see um, the role as an experienced designer is um, we are basically trying every day to enhance that experience for each client. We live in a, in a world full of data now in which are now available to us through the use of things like APIs. And how can you in, interpret that into design? So for example, um, we had a client recently um, in which learning plans was a big part of their, of their process. We wanted to see how we could push that more to give the users, the learners more an incentive to continue using their learning plans. We added just tiny pieces of text and depending on where they were, we would give them just an incentive like, it's just small text on the side of the screen, like start your learning plan. They've gone to about like 70%, where like you're almost done, you can do it, you know, and once they go into 100%, plan, 100%, do we necessarily need to keep showing them that learning plan or do we need to push another learning plan to them, which is probably not complete. As a videographer here at Fuse, generally my main uh, job is to take key messages from uh, clients who want to create uh, either a story or a message or a piece of learning uh, and help them create questions around that to then ask. These questions would have been formed from you know their end goals. So I think the most important thing uh, when working with clients uh, before you bring out any pieces of equipment uh, is getting a bit of face time with whoever you're going to be filming and working with. Um, the best way you get a message out of someone is when they feel comfortable with you. Um, we don't like scripts, we like to you know, generate that conversational tone uh, through asking questions. You know, with creating video it's, it's, it's essentially timeless. Hello, I am Stefano and I'm a digital media designer here at Fuse Universal. My role consists in uh, visualising any concept from subject matter expert in the most engaging and beautiful way. We find the best strategy in order to convey the message of the of the client in the best way. Our brain needs to be in line with the with the expert in terms of vision. We have always looked to find new way to, to create even more engaging content. And uh, as a visualizer, I think that uh, the future will be um, especially about 360 videos and interactive. When you have data, you can make more informed decisions. It just makes you more valuable for the rest of the company, just having a data person. You kind of become the bridge before everyone's team. You show what works and why it works. And the person who takes this kind of role will be the person who likes to uncover puzzles. So, for example, a, a videographer, they know that um, a question in a certain style gets more views. If you're a designer, you know that if you do your videos in a certain style, 
you'll get more of a positive reaction. If you're a performance consultant, you can say, because you're using Fuse in a certain way, it's increasing revenue because I've shown you the data. Creating visualizations, you can be the guru, basically. So hopefully you enjoyed the glimpse of those roles. We recognize that those roles are fluid and evolving. So for that purpose, we're launching a new site with the Learning Performance Institute uh, to allow all of us to be part of that conversation and talk to each other. If you want access to that, uh, send your contact details and we'll make you part of the initial launch.